Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Hey family, if you've ever tried hula hooping with a Dollar Tree hula hoop, you know it's pretty useless. They don't have enough weight on them to actually be real hula hoops. And uh, it takes a lot of work to get this thing to go around your body. Kids will play with them for a second, but they don't usually like them either because same reason. It's kind of hard to hula hoop with something with this light of weight. Usually kids will use them to throw, catch, all that kind of good stuff because they're pretty lightweight. But I'm going to show you another use for the hula hoop. Now, although I'm covered in flowers today, I'm not the garden and this is not the garden hack. I'm going to show you the best garden hack for Dollar Tree hula hoops. Stay tuned. Good morning, family. So you just saw me trying to hula hoop with a Dollar Tree hula hoop. Now I'm one of those people who can actually hula hoop. I could do it without even moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bomb my you stomach is. You know how those shoes are. Move. Don't be trying to move my groove. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. <laughs> we can go and Don't know why. It's just in the blood, I guess. But. Dollar Tree hula hoops are so lightweight and so flimsy as far as hula hoops go that um, it's almost impossible to do it unless you are an actual small child, you know, that can't actually carry the weight of a hula hoop. But what I use them for is not hula hooping. I use them in my garden. Today I'm going to show you another garden hack for the hula hoops. Now I know a lot of us usually tend to run out to big box stores and buy things like PVC piping. I don't. When I need something for the garden, unless it's something that's really heavyweight, I actually run to the Dollar Tree. This is what I use my Dollar Tree hula hoops for. So as you can see, Dollar Tree hula hoops come in lots of different colors, different sizes, but like I said, kids don't usually want to play with them too much because they're so lightweight. What they do actually end up doing is using them for everything else but hula hoops. So I'm going to take this one that's already damaged and I'm going to show you guys. They're just covered with a ribbon. Once you remove the ribbon, and this, even though it looks like a mylar tape, is actually another ribbon also. So to do this hack today, all we're going to do, we're going to find the piece like this. You're going to remove this tape off of here and you're going to see that this hula hoop actually has an opening. Inside of that, you're going to find a connector like this. All you're going to do is pull it apart and pull this connector out. When you pull that connector out, the tape is really going to just start unraveling for you. And you hear that shaking in there? That shaking is just some little pieces. I thought they were rocks at first, but I think they're just little pieces of plaster. And all you're gonna do is dump those out. And then we're gonna go on to the next step, which is super simple. I use them to protect my garden. Now, if you guys saw my other Dollar Tree uh, garden hacks video, you know that I got this bird netting from the 99 cent store and it was only 99 cents. It's about 32 feet long. And I think it's about four and a half, five feet wide. Nice plastic material, stretches, and it lasts. I have several bags of these that I haven't even opened yet because it's reusable. And like I said, it's really sturdy and it lasts. And uh, I simply take hula hoops, open them up, and I use them as arches to protect my produce. I battle skunks and squirrels and all the other stuff that most people do, except for deer. We don't have deer around here. But uh, they tend to get in the garden and they dig up everything. So this right here is my favorite bed. I don't know why, but everything I put in this bed just thrives. And as you can see, I have cauliflower and cabbages in here. 
and the cauliflower are starting to form heads but the leaves were getting so tall that it was actually pushing up against the netting so I had to raise it. All I did was come out here, I opened up two of the hula hoops, removed the tape, dumped out the little garbage inside and these are simply attached to the regular green garden stakes. So you can see it just slides over them. I can raise this up. I can cut the hula hoops to make it lower, but I needed some height. So they're on stakes about this size here. And they are pushed all the way down onto the stakes and it still gives me great height. So these are about three feet tall right now which gives the cauliflower and the cabbage in there a lot of room. So you can also add one to the center if you need a little more height in there. And as I said, that's $3, a dollar for the netting and a dollar for each hula hoop. I don't know how much PVC piping is in other states, but here in California, everything has tripled in prices, not just wood, but everything. So if I can save some money instead of going to the big box stores, I'm going to head over to the Dollar Tree. So as I said before, don't throw your money away. Go repossess those hula hoops back from your kids, your grandkids. Remove all of that shiny stuff, unless you actually like the shiny stuff in your garden. And uh, use it to make your hoop houses. All right, family, so once again, we got a really simple Dollar Tree hack, just using hula hoops, Dollar Tree hula hoops. I mean, what else are they good for, right? So drop me a comment below and let me know if you use Dollar Tree hula hoops in your garden. Tell me what you use them for. I mean, I've used them for everything from centerpieces to hanging balloons, like in a chandelier from the ceiling. I mean, you know, you gotta find a use for these things. So now, I love them in my garden. That is pretty much my favorite garden hack for Dollar Tree hula hoops. I use them, like I said, for everything from arches to supports. <laughs> Just, you know, they're a dollar. They're cute. Lots of color, different color choices. You know, gotta use them for something. And like I said, drop me a comment below and let me know if you use Dollar Tree hula hoops in your garden and how you use them. I'll see you guys in the next video.